Watch how I turn this brown dresser into a southwestern masterpiece. I'm Kathy with Goods and Vintage Treasures and welcome to my channel. First, I took old 57 and painted my whole piece of furniture. Once I had the whole piece covered in old 57, I added some blue iris to the edges. Then I took some Salty Kiss, which is a green color, and blended it into the blue and along the inside of the blue iris. Next up is Marquee. Marquee is a bright red color. I put the Marquee in the middle area of the dresser. I'm going to go back later on and dull this down because I did not like the final look with this red in the middle. I also added a little bit of cowgirl coral with a palette knife. To do this, you just take the palette knife and dip it into the paint. Then use the flat edge of the palette knife to apply paint to the dresser just in alternating areas. Random, randomly put the paint on the edge and across the dresser front to add a little bit of color. However, when I was finished, I did not like all the red in the middle. So I went back and added Old 57 into the middle area again, leaving some of the red, but covering lots of it. I like that color combination much better. Next, I took Big Top and sealed the whole piece because I'm going to add a transfer. Big Top is DIY paint sealer. Always put Big Top underneath your transfers. For this piece, I'm going to add the Desperado transfer. It's one of our new transfers and it's a Southwestern theme. As you can see, it has buffalo, cactus, and a cow school poster. So we're gonna pull out, and that's the buffalo, isn't it gorgeous? Let me just show it to you right there. Okay, we're gonna start out by pulling out the cow school. Now, this has beautiful writing around it, which I love, but my piece is not wide enough. These pieces are six, uh, 16 inches long. And my piece is about 30 inches, 30. Anyway, it's, it's about 28 inches long. So I want to show you that you can take a piece like this and cut out what you need. So don't think because you have a piece of, of an IOD design that you can't just do what you want to with it. You're free to use them the way you want to use them. So in this case, I'm going to cut this cow horn out I'm going to keep as much as the little lines around it and not use the words, although I love the words. I'm not going to use them. So this is where I cut the cow horn off of the skull and I'm going to apply it at a different angle. Who says cow horns can't change angle? I use blue painter's tape to position the cow skull and the horns where I want them to go on the dresser. Once I have them where I want them, I'm going to remove the backing and press the transfer onto the piece. I'll also use a little tool that comes with it to rub it on.
I've found that transfers that have black lines instead of large flower, flowers or design take a little more rubbing to put on because you have to rub over all those lines. But in the end, you can rub them all on and create your design. Once you've applied your transfer, rub over it with your hand to make sure you have all the pieces down. I also use a little piece of the grid paper to rub over it too. You can also use a soft cloth. Now it's just a matter of putting the other horn on and rubbing over the whole piece. The Desperado Transfer Pack also comes with two pages of Western Geometric Designs. So I chose one row to go at the top and one row to go to the bottom. It's nice that you can cut these apart and use these on several projects. If you pull your transfer up before all the pieces transferred, you can put it right back down and rub it back on, just as I did here. Included in the pack are buffalo, cactus, and this quote, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail by Emerson. I also added this diamond geometric pattern to the bottom of the dresser. You can buy all the products you've seen here at goodsandvintagetreasures.com. There'll be a list in the description below I think the piece turned out gorgeous. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell for reminders when I post a video. Thanks for watching.